job do you do? I'm an assassin. <laughs> I'm not, really! Aren't you? No, I'm a waitress! I bet that's a rather overpowering disappointment, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Greggy, he thinks a real assassin. You don't meet an assassin every day of your life. Oh, no, she's not an assassin. She's a fucking waitress. I didn't think that. Yeah, you did, you lying fucker. I'm yes. sorry. I didn't mean that to be quite as good. I like waitresses. Do you? Some of them, not all of them. That would be absurd to make a blanket generalization <laughs> like that. Some waitresses are really lovely. I work at, at Otto Lange. Terrific. Do you know it? No. It's on Upper Street in Islington. It sells a, a fusion of continental, North African, and Oriental food driven by a scientific determination to pursue culinary excellence to its highest level. Magic. I like science. Yeah. So I've seen your type before. Right. The shy, brooding, intellectual type. You come in, you sit down, you order a croissant, you read a fucking poem or something. You're too shy to smile, you're too shy to tip. You leave, I'm right, and I've got you down to a T. Don't try and think for one second you have the measure of me, Mr. Man, because on the contrary, I have the measure of you. You got a really big house, yeah. especially for a man living on his own, unnecessarily big, in fact. And, and I looked in the fridge, and all the cupboards I could find, all I could find was this. Chocolate. I'm really disappointed. How can you be disappointed by chocolate? Right. <laughs> Seriously. I am tremendously enthusiastic about chocolate, <laughs> and that is very, very good as well. It's got ginger in it. Go on, try it. Ginger? It's good, isn't it? I was hoping for something a bit meatier, from a butcher. I was hoping for like a, a black pudding, at least. I think you might need to take me out and buy me something a bit more substantial, like a big sandwich. Some kind of egg-based breakfast. And we can sit in a cafe and eat our egg-based breakfast things and you can read the newspaper to me in your Irish voice. You've got a very, very fucking sexy voice. <laughs> it's sonorous. I'm tremendously enthusiastic about chocolate. <laughs>